Hello everyone, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. Uh, today in this uh, screencast we will look another kind of issue which is again very common and similar for many Excel users that uh, what, what we need is we need to highlight certain days in the expiry date column okay uh, which are less than or equals to 60 days remaining for example we need to highlight all these all all those dates in this expiry date column which are remaining only 60 days or less than 60 days from today's date so what we will be doing in this query is we will be applying for the solution conditional formatting with some logics okay so let's start uh, first of all we will look at the if, if we look at the dates in the expiry date columns they all are on the left side and you know that the dates are number on the back end and dates should be um, logically on the right side of the cell but it seems that uh, these are not dates these are the text okay uh, the first thing we can check is that we I have just selected these dates and if I go to home tab and I see in the alignment group it's set on the left side uh, if I do the right side alignment it goes to the right now from by seeing this these dates we will assuming that now these are on the right side so those all all are the dates which we are seeing but uh, this is incorrect still so what is the proper method to check either it's a date or not uh, the first thing is that in the slash format the months come first and the day comes in the middle whereas in these dates if you can see now these are although on the right side of the cell but these are not the corrected dates because the day are coming first and the months are coming in the middle so for checking that either because we have because we have uh, know that the dates are numbers so we have one function which is called equals to is number my first expiry date in the cell D7 uh, if this is the date so it will returns me the true but it's it's returning returning me the false because these are not the dates these are incorrect dates so what we need to do is first we need to correct the format of the dates and we make we want we need to make it into the date format right so what I will do is I will select all the dates in the expiry column as well as in in the uh, in the start date column as well and I will go to data tab text to columns okay so this is that one column at a time so let me just assuming that I am selecting the expiry date column text to columns next I press next again I just need to set the date uh, date format so here the current date format is month day and year I need to convert it day month and year DMY okay and just click on finish now because condition formatting is already applied let me just remove this because I tried it before so now all the day all these dates are now in proper format okay now you can see that months are coming at the first days are coming in the middle and years in the last okay so now we have to apply a logic that I need to highlight all those dates which have uh, now remaining just 60 days or less than 60 days from the today's date okay so I will select this expiry date column go to home tab click on conditional formatting click on new rule and in this window we will select the last option use a formula to determine which cells to format equals now bracket open I will click on the first cell from where my date is starting which is expiry date which is in D7 starting from D7 and I will make the column absolute but not the raw because every row consists of different dates so I have to make it into the relative so now because expiry dates will be the future dates logically and I will subtract today's date from the expiry date so expiry date number will be greater than the today's date so I have put the expiry date cell first and minus today's 
date so I have put the today function which gives me the today's date if you can see today bracket open and bracket close one more bracket close and then is less than and equals to 60 so now what this logic will check in each cell that if the expiry date is uh, expiry date number will be minus today's date number and if the difference is less than or equals to 60 it will highlight the cell otherwise it will skip so I will go to format I will select the coloring and styles which I want for my uh, true conditions to be seen on the cell and press OK so now all the dates have been highlighted which are remaining less than 60 or 60 days in the expiry okay so this is how we just solve the query that uh, expiry dates within the 60 date days uh, from the today's dates have been highlighted in the column D okay now you can change the criteria you can play with the dates and uh, you can uh, apply multiple conditions as well on the expiry dates I hope you learn one more trick related to the condition formatting and how to correct the dates in Excel thank you